What's up, YouTube? Today we're talking about blockchain games, specifically the top ranked blockchain games by monthly active users. So, this is dapradar.com. Dapradar is considered the go to source to see how different blockchain projects, this includes crypto, this includes DeFi, this includes blockchain and metaverse games such as Upland. Dapp Radar is your one-stop shop to see how different projects are performing, what the monthly active users look like, what the revenue looks like of that project. So this is a great place to go to see how Upland is performing. So if you go to the homepage here on Dapp Radar, you go down to trending, you can see games is the top performing topic. We click on games. We scroll down, we can see the top five, and then let's go to open full rankings. I like to sort by the last 30 days. And here you can see that the top three blockchain games are Alien Worlds, Splinterlands, and Upland. This is sorted by users. You can see Alien Worlds has 888,000, followed by Splinterland with 557,000, and then Upland with 277,000 users in the last 30 days, and this is updated daily. It's important to note that games like Alien Worlds and Splinterlands, it's easier to get away with multi-accounting. That means you can have more than one account, whereas Upland, only allows you to have one account and they actively ban people or send them to Alcatraz near San Francisco if they have more than one account. So you get sent to jail, you get banned, your account gets discontinued if you have more than one account in Upland. Upland is a metaverse and is a play to earn game. This means this is a video game that you can make money playing daily. I specifically am earning over $2,000 a month playing the Upland Metaverse game. It's interesting for me to see that some of the most hyped games such as Sandbox and Decentraland, these are some of the most hyped Metaverse games, have very few users. You can see that these are strictly based on hype. It looks like in the past 30 days, Games like The Sandbox are only showing less than 4,000 users. Decentraland with less than 1,000, only 817 users. Whereas, you know, Upland is showing over 277,000 monthly active users. Just because there is a coin attached to the game, there is a token that has a lot of hype and a lot of people are investing in that token does not mean that there is actually a lot to show for that game. Upland has is way more immersive than Alien Worlds and Splinterlands. I think Upland is quickly rising and it's seriously rising to the top. Upland could very realistically become the number one metaverse game in the world and the most hyped and the most played it is already one of the most played games it is in the top three blockchain games and is the most immersive of those three so this is what i love about upland this is the screen you will see when you first open upland this is the game it resembles the wor the real world the current cities that are released in Upland are all in the United States. This gives real world value to the NFTs that you own, to the land that you own. Unlike other metaverses that are made up or sci-fi or non-existent land, Upland you can actually own real world property. You can own, for example, I can scroll in here to Manhattan and you can see actual properties that I own in Manhattan and you can even build buildings on these properties it resembles the real world like you can see Central Park right here like everyone knows like how cool would it be to visit Central Park and how much cooler would it be to stay in a in a property or an Airbnb that overlooks Central Park or even how much cooler would it be 
to own a property in Central Park. In Upland, you can do that. You can buy real world properties. Let's zoom out around Central Park right here. Let's click this property button and let's see. Look at this. You can buy a property in Manhattan for $95. That's very close to Central Park. The value of these properties are growing every day. So the currency in Upland is called UPEX or UPX. You can see that 1000 UPEX is equal to roughly $1 USD. So let me show you how much I've been able to build up my profile to earn in UPEX, which translates directly to earnings in USD. So if you go to the menu here and you click properties, you can see my earnings per month. So let me explain this. For every property that you own in Upland, it pays rent essentially or interest on that property. So I own about 4,000 properties. All of those properties pay me a monthly income. My monthly income is 2,226,000 UPEX. To translate that into US dollars, that is about $2,226. So that's roughly $75 a day that I'm earning just if I don't do anything in this game. The nice thing is you can sell properties, you can grow your monthly net worth buying and selling. It's literally a virtual real estate game, but it's so immersive. They're adding cars, they're adding businesses um, that you can be a part of as well. What I personally love about Upland is that it's not tied to a crypto coin or crypto token. There's not someone or some company that can come in and buy up that token and raise the price and then sell that token and kill the price. Upland is pretty much a stable coin. The Upix, all the value stays within the game and then you sell properties for USD. You can see that I've been selling some properties and today it's processing a payout for me for $1,320. This will go to my PayPal account and within a day or two, I will have that money in my bank account. And that's just selling small properties that I own for like $20 or, or even less. Some, some I'm only selling for $5, but I only paid maybe two or $3 for those properties a few months ago. Upland is constantly growing in value. The economy is very stable. That's what I love about it compared to other crypto projects and other crypto coins and tokens that are dropping. I mean, we're pretty much in a bear market in the crypto space. I mean, everyone who's invested in pretty much any coin on Coinbase has, if, if they've bought in the past few months, it's gone down in value for the most part. Upland consistently rises for me. Every property that I've bought in the past year, I'm able to sell for more money than I paid for it. So this is your chance to get in on Upland. You can see here that I'm hovered over LA. If we zoom in, you can even see that there's still gray properties. So what are gray properties? These gray properties have not been minted yet. You can mint this property here. This means you can own a property in LA. This one specifically is 31,000 UPEX. It pays you 382 UPEX a month or essentially 38 cents. You can start earning money in Upland. Get in now before cities like Los Angeles are completely sold out. LA only dropped a few months ago and is quickly selling out. So join now and you can buy a property in LA that you could sell or you can build a building on or you can hold that property for a few years and maybe it will be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands of dollars as the Upland Metaverse continues to grow. As always, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.